Growing food indoors all year round to help children eat. Lawrence County Social Services is trying to do just that. They started a farm lab where they grow produce. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin took a tour of it and she's joining us live in the newsroom this morning with more Desiree. So if you're anything like me, now that it's getting a little bit warm, you might want to go and fiddle around in the garden, grow a little bit of produce. Well, Lawrence County Social Services took that concept and they said, make it look like the future. And this is what that looks like, at least according to the agricultural consultant helping with this project. Many of these growing units were purchased through grant money from the USDA and Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. These greens are grown completely without soil through a hydroponics system, and they don't need to use pesticides because it's inside. The seeds are planted into a natural fiber, placed in a slot in the tower, and they just grow. The roots grow straight down into the water, which is a nutrient solution the plants need to flourish. The lettuce grows at about the same rate or faster than outside, and they aren't limited by seasons and you can grow food pretty much anywhere. This could be a warehouse in downtown Pittsburgh. This could be in the, the, where the, a steel mill once sat in Youngstown. They could be growing fresh vegetables. The children we serve are very young. Some of them are three and four years old. And in their lifetime, they could be using this technology to grow food on Mars, the International Space Station. The group tells me that this summer they will start their agricultural program as a test drive. And in the fall, children from all over Lawrence County will be able to take a field trip to the farm. They tell me they hope that when schools come to visit, they might be inspired to start a lab on their own campus. And that the expansion of this technology could lead to a more sustainable way of feeding children all over America with fresh local produce. Andrew, if you're wondering how it tastes, how it how it uh, compares to regular lettuce that you might buy in the store. It was actually about the same or maybe even better. They sent me home with a bag and I got to try it. So pretty cool and interesting stuff going on out there in Newcastle. Reporting live in the newsroom, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.